How's oh, up, everybody? We're out here, uh, end of July. It's hot. That's what I've been out here doing most of my uh, archery stuff here in the evenings. Uh, what I'm going to do here, real quick, before it gets all the way dark, is I'm going to fix this bow target. Um, this is a, I think it's a Morel. Uh, it's a yellow jacket. It's a 380 version. So, this is a broadhead target. It, uh, you can shoot field tips into the side of this. I really like the version they made before this was broadhead only. But it's essentially it's a solid target, it's not a layered target. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can fix one of these. Uh, the same method works on any other kind of solid target or a 3D target. Um, essentially what I'm using is I'm going to use spray insulation. One of these targets is uh, uh, anywhere $100, $120, something like that. Depends on where you look. Uh, but you can extend the life of them with spray insulation. So the way I do this, you can see this one's been patched before. That's what the white uh, you see in here is. Anything excess I already carved off and kind of stuffed back in here. So I take one side and I uh, I use cardboard and tape and I take this tape under it and then did an over layer real tight. Because what's going to happen is when I spray the spray insulation here, it's going to expand and I want that pressure to force it inward um, so it'll be denser. I used to do this when I was a kid to fix 3D targets and I would just spray it and it would end up extending out cut it off but it wouldn't be that dense so it only kind of worked um, if you put something on here uh, to contain it and then some kind of weight while it dries it seems to help if you had some type of like a uh, plastic wrap that you could get really tight it would probably be the best but uh, cardboard is what I got so I'm gonna prop this up I have two cans I don't know if it'll take two cans or just one uh, but I'm gonna start filling this up you'll see me I'm a little extra I'll put uh, safety glasses gloves and uh, face mask on when I do this because I do not like spray insulation. You get it on, it'll be on you forever, it seems. So I've had cans kind of twist off from pressure and stuff. So I'm going to, uh, I'm taking precautions. I don't want stuff on me tonight. So I'm gonna get that going. Now when I'm spraying this, I'm just finding holes where the straw fits in easy, and I'm just spraying it until I see insulation start coming back my side. Because after you spray, it's going to keep expanding. So I got another piece of cardboard already cut out. Thank you. 
make sure it tend to want to pop up like I said this is going to expand so you want that tight fit um, on each side it's going to keep it it's going to condense it if it uh, if you weren't to put this it would just foam out and uh, it would still probably work for a while to shoot but it's just not as not as dense and won't be as good That. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll uh I'm gonna find something for weight to put on this. Like I got an old car battery around here. Uh, just to kind of keep that pressure on it. I'll come back check on it tomorrow because likely um, the foam's gonna expand somewhere at the sides. But I'm gonna wait several days before I actually shoot it. Uh, even when it appears dry on the outside, like I'll probably give it a week. It'll seem dry on the outside, but when you um, when you shoot into it, you pull your arrow out. That inside will still be damp. And it's not fun trying to get that spray insulation off of your arrows. So uh, one of two things is going to happen. Sometimes the, the cardboard sticks to the insulation. You can't get it off. If that's the case, I'll just leave it on there. And I'll just put tape on spots kind of like that to use for aiming points. Uh, if it does come off, it'll be all white. So I'll probably take a can of black spray paint and spray paint it. But we'll see what we get um, when we get uh, once it dries and all. Uh, and, and I'll show you the comparison. Because originally... Like this target in its current state, if you just shot the center, that arrow wouldn't slow down. Um, it'll, if you hit the edges, it might s slow down a little bit, but everything on it would be a patch, but there's really nothing viable left on it. I was actually using it stacking up multiple targets and uh, would, was still getting a couple pastors. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put some weight on it, find a spot for it, and uh, let it dry. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's been, it's been about five days since I... Did the first part of the video of fixing this old broadhead target so now i've let it dry for a few days it's been really you know it's the end of july so it's really hot really humid um, i gave it some extra time uh, you can see that what we've, what we've ended up with here it's uh even with giving it uh i had this tape really good on each side and i put a couple of uh garden paving stones on top of it so i had probably 30 pounds of weight, even with that, we still had some expansion of the foam outside of it. i break it off. But, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to see if the cardboard will come off. If it doesn't, I don't really care. I'll shoot through the cardboard. But um, I'm going to see what I pull off, what I end up with, and then uh, shoot it a couple times, see what it does.
see what we ended up with. This side I ripped the cardboard off. Um, still see the original texture. But all the holes are obviously filled. This side I didn't rip the cardboard off. I'll probably leave it like this. It's uh until it comes off on its own. Now I got some other options. I could sit here and I could like take this and spray paint it all black, make it even. And I might eventually, but uh, for the time being, I'm just worried about shooting broad into this. Um, and hopefully not too terribly many. But it uh the nature of the beast broad tires when you get tore up, doesn't matter how nice one you buy, you're shooting an object that cuts. So unlike uh, like shooting a field point into a block target where it layers to stop with friction, every time you shoot a broad it in, it's physically cutting the target. So they're gonna get destroyed. Uh, I'm gonna go out and shoot this a couple times to show you what it does. So depending on how fancy you want to get, you can do stick on targets. Um, you could paint it, paint your own circles back on. I just try to get colored duct tape when I find it on sale. And I finally found orange for once. Currently acting like it's sale quality duct tape. What I'm gonna do now, run down the yard, I'm gonna shoot uh, broadhead field point at 20, broadhead field point at 30, uh, and we'll see what happens. Like I said before, if you were to shoot this, the arrow wouldn't stop. Like you could you could pretty much stick your hand through it. Um, so just for a comparison as to how it's gonna work once we shoot now. see what we got going on here this was broadhead field point at 20 broadhead field point at 30 you can see stop there is plenty well nothing out the back side <laughs> ignore my old broken one for propping up the bag target but that's it so hopefully this will be helpful with uh trying to fix some of your own targets it this is probably the fifth time i've patched this target and i want to say cans of uh the cans of spray insulation were $4.97 a piece this time, so I got 10 bucks for two cans. I fixed it, fixed it five times at 10 bucks, 50 bucks. It's about $100 to buy a new one of these, so eventually you hit the point where, uh, you know, it would have been cheaper for you just to buy another one. But uh, at least at this time, it's a lot easier, at least seeming on the wallet, to say I'll just spend 10 bucks and fix this target versus buying a um, another $100 one right now. But same process works on any kind of foam target. It'll work on a 3D target. Um, okay, hope it helps.